Yeah, uh, yesterday, because yesterday when I was trying to get on your meeting, it kept telling me error. It wouldn't let me oh. on your meeting. Well, I had it open the whole time. I don't do that little blocky thing like some people do. All right, well, let's try this again. I am going to get my right mouse, go back here. Just have a few I'll, reminders up here. I'll turn, in, I'll turn in some stuff today. Yeah, I saw that. I only, got, thing, only thing I didn't turn in was the uh, scientific method practice. When Colleen gets home, I'm going to have her help me with that. Okay. Uh, make sure you, um, I think on yours, it'll show up where I did number one together. Yeah. Yeah. But just make sure you go back and you look at um, the PowerPoint that explains um, independent variables and stuff like that. All right. Um, just a few reminders I'm giving for everybody is try to keep up daily with your assignments because when we All come right. back next week, we're not going to be able to just play catch up. Um, yeah. So and check your uh, Canvas grades daily. Because I am putting, you're used to this, I'm putting zeros in for missing assignments. And you can see how that devastates your grade um, yeah. when you do that. But yeah. they're, not, they're not permanent zeros, you know, completed. Right. I don't take off points for it being late. Um, we do have until February 12th to get anything missing in. And then we're going to shut everything, you know, before February 12th down. And then we'll, you know, the rest of this quarter, you know, like we did last time. Okay. Um, and if you miss a Google Meet, I'm going to have it, it within the Canvas course. But I was also, as I was showing you when you came on, but you couldn't hear me, that in other links here on the home page, I'm going to try to link to those pages as well. And I forgot to do that for the last two of them. So I'll wow. go back and add those. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing, um, I don't know if you're getting a lot of um, emails like Canvas notification emails when you check your school email. That stuff has been graded. Um, like it might say something's been graded yeah, or change has been made or something like that. Yeah, if, you don't, if you don't want to get those on your homepage, if you will go to this view course notification, yeah, um, it sh it'll automatically be on green. You can actually yeah. click on it and it'll turn gray. I get an error message because test student isn't a real student. And so right. we'll change it. But yours should stay green. I mean, stay gray once you turn it off. Then right. you won't be getting all of that in your um, email. And it'll be easier to see emails from your teacher. Okay. So I wanted to share that little piece. And if you forget about how to do that, I put it in a video under Canvas help. Um okay. So um, we're going to go into today's activities. And oh, the other things that you weren't on the meet yesterday, uh, most of my classes have decided they want to earn things with their tickets. And so yeah. I'm going to keep a tally of the tickets. And um, so, for example, like if you have five tickets, you can turn you can say I want to use those five tickets to add five points onto a test or quiz. Great. Right. Um, another one, maybe skip a class assignment. Um, I haven't figured out how many numbers. So we're trying to brainstorm and come up with some things that you can uh -huh. get with your tickets. When we're face to face, it might be that we come up with a list of um, snacks or something yeah. that you could use your tickets um, as you collect them for that. But I'm working on that. So I'm just right now writing down like you get a ticket for being on today. So I'm going to put that in the school drawing, but I've made a note that you have one ticket right now so that um, for this week, I didn't count last week's, for this All week right. so that it'll start adding up for those other prizes. All right. Um, all right, today's attendance. If you want to click on that and go Money along. Today's attendance. You already did it? Yeah. All right. This may have been familiar. You, but we may have done something like this last we semester, but I'm going to go through the answers real quick. Uh, number mm -hmm. one should have been WAFT or WAFTing, W-A-F-T. That's what I did. Uh, I did. Protect your clothing, apron, apron or lab coat. Very good. And if something breaks, what is the first thing you should do? Tell the teacher. What? Tell the teacher. Very good. And how should girls or guys that have long hair what put, it they up, put, it hair? Up, put it up and like a ponytail? That's what I put. Okay, get it out of the way. And then your lab station should always look 
neat. Neat and organized. Very yeah. good. So I gave you a, a second ticket for answering those for me because wow. you're participating. I like that. Um, so I'm not going to um, show typing those in. And those that aren't here, hopefully they'll watch it. Oh, I meant to click modules. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, let me get back here. Um, the other thing for today, so right here will be where I'll put our lab safety. And this is probably a repeat for you, and I'm sorry, but the two activities, um, the, video, the videos may be a repeat, but the two yeah. activities are a little bit different, uh, okay. the two other assignments. Right. So just bear with me as I go through this yet again uh, for you. Um, and so these are real simple, fill in the blank, so you can get it easy. Um, again, yeah. I don't know if you're getting this authorized yeah. Google Drive yeah, or not. But mine's, mine's been doing that to all classes. Okay, so the first, it should only do it the first time. I'm not sure why it's, um, I'm a test student, so I figure that's why it keeps doing it for me. Yeah. But you just have to authorize it and follow, you know, choose your account and move uh, on. So if you want to fill in as we go, you can, or you can do it once once we get out. But I'm going to kind of go through this fairly quickly. Um, I keep the vocabulary yeah, here. I, in case I, I like doing it one more stuff that way I know. Okay. Um, we go, th um, I try to keep the vocabulary up here. So if you want a quick reference um, for vocabulary, you can do that. So just some general guidelines, um, even this this will also go for just regular assignments. You want to make sure you're always reading through anything. Make sure you read the directions carefully um, and make sure that um, you, especially in labs, that we know what we're, you know, you've read it and you understand it. Uh, here's that keep your table and desk neat and organized um, yeah. so that we don't get things spilt on anything. And hopefully when we're back face to face, we'll be able to do a few um, hands on labs. Uh, we can we're able to do a little more physical science. Um, if there's any type of emergency, it could be a bro something's broken. You get a paper cut. You accidentally cut yourself or something. If, whatever emergency it is, you need to let um, me know because I have to document it, um, especially right. if you've gotten injured. Um, we take the lab serious. We don't need to be goofing around. That's a little easier now that we have to stay six feet apart. Um, and if you have questions, you need to ask the teacher. Don't just move ahead if you have a question about a lab. Okay. Um, these three pieces of safety equipment here, we don't always use. Uh, one, because a lot of the material we use is household, oops, household products. And they're not as dangerous as, you know, the real chemicals. So if we're using something that needs um, this, I would pull them out, the goggles or the aprons. Um, usually if it's uh, something that's being heated, I'm going to maneuver it so that you don't, one, because I only have one hot plate, and two, it just lessens um, chances of people getting hurt. Okay. Um, you've been in my classroom, so you know where the fire alarm is, which is out by um, the foods room. Um, we also um, don't leave a hot plate plugged in. We don't have open flames here because we don't have gas. Um, your hair tied back because uh, if we did have gas and had an open flame, it, your hair could catch on fire. Yeah. Same with loose clothing and jewelry. So if I kept my mask like this dangly, normally yeah. it will be on if we're here, but it could fall into the chemicals. It could fall into the flame. Um, same with your loose clothing. Uh, uh, well, oh, there we go. Fire extinguishers by our exit door. Um, and just remember that um, typically the teacher will be the one that uses it unless I ask you to get it and bring it to me. But to use a fire extinguisher, you pull the pin, you aim to the base of the fire, you squeeze the trigger, and you sweep back and forth at the base to put out a fire. It's called pass. Fire blanket we don't have, but you one thing you don't want to do is ever use it with a person standing up because it can create like a chimney effect and it can cause the flames to go up the person. So it's best if they're lying down and you use the fire uh, blanket. Uh, 
typically you would stop, drop, and roll is what you would do uh, to put out a fire on a person. Uh, let's see. Some uh, chemicals, you know, this common sense that we're not going to taste chemicals in the lab. Um, yeah. We don't want our food and drink in the lab either because they could get contaminated. Here's our wafting to you know, wave the smell over toward our nose so that the chemicals, if they're toxic, they could uh, burn our nose or we could have a reaction to it or something. Uh, wearing gloves is also important. Um, and disposing chemicals um, correctly, uh, you won't, don't just pour them down the sink. You want to ask. If you spill right. something, let me know. Um, if you get a chemical on yourself, we have the eye wash, which is over by the sink. We don't have a safety shower. Um, there we go. Glassware. Um, glass will look the same hot as it does cold. So you want to always be careful and handle your equipment safely. Broken glass needs to be taken care of um, separately. There should be a separate bin to dispose it in so the janitors and other people don't get cut. So if you have a crack in the glassware or if it gets broken, you need to let me know. Closed toe shoes and long pants are the safest so that if you do have a spell, uh, spill, you do have a protective barrier there. Um, lab equipment. Um, again, these should be familiar. You've got the mortar pestle, which we won't use, but that's for crushing solids into a powder. Uh, your watch glass is like a lid for a beaker. Uh, these three um, we may use, and that is graduated cylinder. This is what is best to use for making precise measurements because all the little increments there are small and close together. Erlenmeyer flask, um, as well as the beaker, both deal with heating. Um, this one you can measure. The increments may be a little closer. Um, you can hold liquids. I've mixed liquids in here before if you're swirling, but if you're going to use a glass rod, you would mix in the beaker. So the key word here is heating here, and for beaker would be holding or mixing. Um, you can measure uh, for uh, liquids. It's just not as accurate as the uh, graduated cylinder. Uh, test tubes is where we would have small chemical reactions uh, going on. And they have to be in a rack because they can't stand by themselves. If we were to heat a test tube over a flame, you would not hold it towards you. You would hold it away from you and not toward any others in case it's... Um, something came out of it. Uh, we use a hot plate. Uh, we don't have access to gas, so we can't use hot a Bunsen burner. And you, um, and you. What? Nothing. Oh, okay. I'll take on my bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so to use a Bunsen burner, you generally have a ring stand with a um, iron ring that has this gauze on it that sets the beaker sets on top. Um, and you heat your uh, materials that way. A lot of times now you're going to have some type of hot plate that you're probably going to deal with that. Um, digital scale or triple B balance for measuring mass, a meter stick or a rule, metric ruler for measuring length. Thermometers will measure temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. This would be like an air thermometer. It would be a glass um, rod thermometer if it was measuring for the liquid. Um, these are all dealing with transferring um, materials. So we have the uh, beaker tongs that will allow you to hold the hot beaker and move the beaker. The funnel allows you to take liquids from a larger container to a smaller one. Spatula allows you to take small amounts from a large container and put it into a smaller container. Now, pipette and dropper are basically the same thing. A pipette is going to have um, lines on it for measuring, and a dropper is not. But we tend to use these interchangeably. We tend to use dropper more than we do pipette. So think about a medicine dropper for little kids 
um, it's it's got the measurements on it, so it's like a pipette. But that's the difference between those. If it's got the um, increments for measuring, it's a pipette. If it doesn't, it's a dropper. Um, so that was quickly going through the notes. So you can see it's not that many, not that many blanks to fill in. Like I said, an easy 20% or 20 points to get 100 just filling in the blanks. At the end of the notes, um, usually I don't have you make do the summary part. So you can do all of it but that. And remember about the submitting for Cami. So we're going to go back here. So once we get off, you can work on that. Um, the two videos are pretty much the same as you've probably watched before. Um, just remember, you can rewatch before you submit your answer. Um, and you can't go back and change it once you've um, submitted your answer. But these two are a little bit different. Notice they're due the 13th, so you don't have to complete them today. Um, we're going to actually, I'm going to model a possible lab program that we may be getting tomorrow. So we're going to go over some of the lab safety tomorrow. And so this will be due tomorrow, but you can go ahead and get started today. So let me show you how it's a little bit different. I think last semester we had a worksheet that had pictures and you had to describe what was going on. This time it's, um, I think, less of them and it's just written scenarios. And so I've highlighted here that you need to identify what is inappropriate. So you tell me what's being done wrong. And then you're going to tell me what how they should do it. So for each of these, there's two parts. What are they doing wrong? What should they be doing? So you have eight scenarios there to do that. So it's going to be like a total of probably 16 points is probably what I had it set note 24 points. So I did three points a piece. Um, the next one, so that deals with lab safety and go back to the PowerPoint. This one is lab equipment and it's a little bit easier than what we did last time. You don't have to find pictures or anything like that. You're going to have um, a description of the first part right here. And you're going to have to tell me which equipment is best for that. So go back to the slideshow and um, look at the different equipment. So which is best for holding? So the keyword is hold. Here is crush. Here is heat. Um, so um, which one? which piece of equipment will be best for those first 10. Here, you're just telling me the names. So you want to match these pictures up with what was in the PowerPoint and write their name underneath. So it's not that um, difficult to do, but they're due on um, the 13th, not um, today. And like I said, tomorrow I'm going to model a possible lab program that we're going to be using for some of our online labs. It'll be a little bit better than what I used last year. So that's pretty much it for um, the lecture. Do you have any questions, Camden? No. no. All right, so if you, as you're working on the assignments, if you have a question or anything, you can shoot me an email. Um, right. Try to get caught up as best you can. Uh, we have Google Meet tomorrow and Thursday. Remember, Friday we don't, but there'll be some assignments on there for you to do. All right. All right. So if no questions, you're free to go so you can work on this. All right. All right. I'll see you All tomorrow. Right. All right. All right. Bye.